So, next example natin for non-preemptive priority. So, same given pa din. Ito pa rin yung may mga idle time. Yun nga lang, uh, binigyan natin siya ng priority again. Okay? So, compute natin. Now, gun chart muna. Ayan. So, this will be time zero again. So, kamukha pa rin ng kanina. Idle time agad. Kasi, time 3 pa. Okay? So, ito nung time 3. Siya lang yung process at time 3. So, process natin to. Okay? Pasok na rin siya agad dito. Kasi siya rin lang naman. Okay. So, this will end at time 6. Okay? So, at time 6, tapos na yung P4. Idle time ulito. Kasi time 8 pa yung next na darating. So, eto. At time 8, ayan na. So, we have here P2. So, yung P2 natin, dahil siya lang uli, yung isang laman, kaysa isang laman, ng RAM natin, so, papasok na to agad sa process. Okay? So, this will end at time 12. Ayan. So, at time 12, so, tapos na yung P2. Now, eto na, may mga dumating na. So, you have your P1, you have your P3. Now, again, sulat ko yung priority nila para hindi tayo malito. Okay? So, this will be 2, and then this will be 1. Okay, now, obviously, ang mauna dito ay P3. Okay? Kasi, highest priority. Meron siyang 1. And then, ang burst time is 4. So, this will end at time 16. Okay? So, at time 16, so, tapos na si P3. And then, Nandiyan pa rin si P1 na merong 2 na priority number. And then dumating ngayon si P5. So yung P5 mo, 1 lang din. O oh, 1 din yung priority. Okay, so basically, dahil 1 yung priority niya, kahit kakarating niya lang, so siya na agad. Okay, so this will end at time 21. And lastly, dahil si P1 na lang yung natitira, nag-iisa. So, sulat na natin dito. So, this will be P1 and then 5 yung burst time niya. This will end at time 26. Okay? So, kung makikita natin, computing pa rin natin kahit pareho naman yung makukuha natin sa mga dati. Okay? So, this will be summation ng burst time. So, this will be 21 over dito 26 times 100 equals to 80.77% Glutilization Okay So now, kung naalala nyo pa Ayan, isa lang yung given natin Pareho pa rin yung nakuha natin na Gun chart na total end time Tsaka CPU utilization Okay Now, so let's try to compute For the total, uh, the end time The turnaround time And the waiting time Okay Compute natin. So, but first, kuhanin muna natin yung mga end time. So, this will be 26. And then, we have here 12. And then, 16. You have uh, 6. And then, lastly, we have 21. Okay. Now, same formula. End time minus arrival. So, this will be 16. And then you have 4, 4 again, you have 3, and then you have 6. Okay. Turn around minus burst time to get the waiting time. So this will be 11, this will be 0, 0, 0, and then we have 1. And then we'll be computing for the average turnaround time and average waiting time. Okay. Same Sum up natin to divided by 5 kasi 5 processes pa rin. Okay, so for the average turnaround time, so we'll be having 33 over 5. Uh, this will give us 6.60. Okay? And for the average uh, uh, waiting time, so we'll be having 12 over 5. This will give us 2.40.
Okay? So that will be our last example for the non-preemptive priority. Okay, so after this topic, so we'll be going to the preemptive type algorithm. So ibig sabihin, medyo mas mahirap na ng konti kasi pwede nang ma-eject dito sa gun chart natin yung mga process pag merong dumadating na higher priority algorithm. Okay. So, check na lang natin yung mga next nating mga topic para mas maintindihan natin. So, that will be for uh, this day.